Stop sending me emails asking for money. Democrats say they lost because they were scared of their donors. I think that they need to change their policies. <laughs> It's That's, a policy thing. For yes, me. it's 100% a policy thing. Which is, the boring, right? which is the boring answer. Although it would be very self-serving for me to say, I'm the left's Joe Rogan, the Democratic Party should give me millions of dollars. That's not going to solve this problem. What will solve this problem is if the Democratic Party actually adopts real left-wing economic populist messaging instead of purposefully avoiding that stuff because they're terrified of upsetting their corporate donors. I mean, man, this list of excuses is getting longer than Hillary's infamous scroll of scapegoats after the 2016 election. Democrats are going to have to do a serious autopsy around the Thanksgiving table tomorrow, and they have to figure out what to do with Kamala. Some Democrats never want to see her again. They're begging her to not run in four years. They don't even want her to run for governor of California. Republicans don't make Trump apologize. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, as Stephanie said, we don't have to mimic it. Uh, but I think that there are a lot of times where if you're in the Democratic Party and you step out of line, yeah, you get punished for it. Trump is putting these Republicans in the worst possible political or what would seem to be. And they support it because they're, at the end of the day, they understand that it weakens Trump. And, you know, this may sound like a shot across the bow, but it should be. Democrats are eating our own to a very high degree. And until that stops, we're not going to be able to address a lot of the things that just need to be said. Yes, Democrats are spending a lot of time struggling to figure out what is the problem. What you're about to see, CNN panel is going to be triggered by Kevin. He knows the answers. He knows why Kamala lost. But Democrats don't want to accept that it is important. We look into all this. For over two weeks now, I decided not to do videos again on this topic, but I see this to be important. When you take a look at this article, billionaire investor Shark delivered an inspiring critic of Vice President Kamala Harris on Tuesday, suggesting the Fed Presidential candidate number was resulted from long-running political inadequacy. That was not all. That is something he said that triggered these people like never before. I understand CNN don't like the truth, especially when you are outspoken. Her failure to separate from Biden was terrible. His failure to understand his own shortcomings was terrible. I mean. The, the, usually Not unusual for a vice president, president pair, right? Like Al Gore had that problem. But usually this, in campaigns, the simplest thing is the true thing. She's just not a very good candidate. She was not a very good candidate when she ran in 20, never made it to 20. She was not a good candidate uh, in this election. And if she tries to run in 28, she won't be a good candidate again. All right, Presidential me, campaigns show the limit about, of your talent. We're talking about what happened unfair. in there. She only had three months. Yeah. Donald Trump was running for four years. Well, technically like nine. Right? I mean, he was <laughs> running constantly. He created his own social media platform, which I thought was brilliant from a political standpoint, because now you've got these people trapped in this in this loop and, and they're hearing the same message over and over again. And then Elon Musk then buys Twitter and then he uses it the same way. They have Fox then um, using all of that and, and then repeating all of that. And so these people are hearing the same message over and over again for four years. She had three months to combat that. I think I wanna, she did as, as well as she could do. Hold on one second. Months. I want to play one more. Valley. 
more piece of tape because uh, this uh, autopsy, so to speak, I mean, and when I think about this happening during the post Mitt Romney period, right, where basically the Republicans were like, this is not working. We need to come up with a new plan. Like, let's make a report. So one of the other ideas comes from Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, who called, uh, who was talking about the Harris campaign embracing basically Liz Cheney as a huge misstep. And basically talking about the idea that they lean too hard on this sort of mystery woman Republican who is going to vote against her husband and all this stuff. Gretchen, you're shaking your head. Look, this is not Liz Cheney's fault. OK, didn't she face enough scrutiny for being brave and coming out about January 6th? Um, she basically completely ruined her political career by telling the truth. So I don't think that this is Liz Cheney's fault about saying that she was going to vote for, for Kamala Harris. Nobody is saying it's Liz Cheney's fault. What Kamala did, thinking was a good idea, was picking up this lady and moving around with her. She's unpopular. Look at how she lost her own state. That is just to tell you that Democrats sometimes are not smart. The person who advised her to do that mm, should be questioned. Liz Cheney is not that popular. Everybody, like I have seen over the past years, calling her a warmonger. And Kamala moving around with her and what was happening in Gaza at that time, or oh, is still going on, took a lot of people, especially knowing the history of Liz Cheney and others. I think that should be the problem. These people can still not figure that out. Um, I think that Donald Trump got away with not having to explain his policies. The same thing did not happen to Harris. They wanted to know more details. Um, the same thing was that, you know, Donald Trump didn't do interviews with unfriendly resources. Harris was said, well, she should have done more interviews. I agree yeah. with that. I mean, she, he did do a couple, should... a lot of unfriendlies. And, pr did? and press conferences. I think so. And yeah, press, press conferences. conferences. He didn't get... A uh, one of the first ones out of the he, he, he did far more press interactions than Harris, like not even. And close. I criticized right. her for that. Yeah. I said the, at the, the root that she of this mistake more. actually came very early on. They didn't run a process. They made an excuse of three hundred and seventeen million dollars in the kitty. They kept the same campaign manager and said, "We will anoint this faulted." a uh, broken candidate who did was inconsequential in her vice presidency lost in 2019 as you detailed complete loser in 2020 never could articulate anything had no compassion for people and her own advocates let's not forget this i remember the minute this happened i was in europe she went on to the view all those women wanted her to win they threw her a softball they threw her a second softball she was so weak as a candidate, she couldn't even answer that she would do something different. It ricocheted around the yeah. world. She was finished. Well, let me go they will never do that again. Well, I know. Well, yeah, let me go back to the campaign because I don't want to call her broken or a loser. I'm not in that business. But I do want to talk about what the campaign... No, she is a loser. That's Let's fine be sure for you to that. say, but I will not be name calling on this show. It's not my vibe. Did she I'm not lose bringing or not? It in. Did Here's she lose? Here's folks from the campaign talking about... Kevin said nothing but the truth. They can accept. Even some top Democrat admitted that that was the day she ended her campaign. Will you be different from Biden? Her response tells everyone about Harris. I was shocked. Even Sonny Austin that asked that question. She didn't expect that. I watched an interview, I think a podcast recently, where Sonny Austin talked about... Investigate Just this. to be clear, this investigation began under... A Donald Trump. Okay, team. and all during the bottom line is the DOJ said there's nothing there. No, they That's, didn't. They yes, said, they did. They said they didn't have enough to indict. That shouldn't be no, the standard. No, it's a charge, dear. Okay, okay. To, oh, no, first year. No, Excuse yes, me. yeah. Oh, all right. Right. thank hold you on. for the Okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm just going to stop it right here because we we're not going to get off on a wrong foot. Please do not address a grown woman as dear in a condescending okay. tone. Do not do that at my table. You can continue. All right. Today, former VP nominee Tim Walls is set to finally address Democratic donors amid reports. NBC News can now project that Donald Trump has won the state of Wisconsin, which means he is the winner of this race and will return to the White House. And Donald Trump will be our next president. But Donald Trump will become the 47th president of the United States. 
CNN projects that Donald Trump has been elected president, defeating Vice President Kamala Harris and making a political comeback unlike any in modern America. Please register to vote. Look at this. She's only up by 15 points. Cut Taylor Swift. Being people understand how easy. <laughs> Tulsi Gabbard added to Donald Trump's cabinet. Seemed to be coalescing around. They were too woke, insisting that people use the term Latinx. You have to say they. From woke. Focus less on who is woke. Such an absolute, absolute prick. Not doing great. Terrible night last night. It was a terrible night. What will the rest of us be doing on day one? <laughs> Bishop Vigano, he says that a lot of people were confused about why. I don't know who needs to hear this, but someday this 